Hey, what's up everyone? This is Yash Makan and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is part 2 of the series where we are creating Flutter UI concepts. So basically in this video, we are going to create Flipkart UI design in Flutter. So if you have missed the previous part, that is part 1, where we have created Instagram homepage, then you can check that out as well. Link is provided right here as well as in the description box as well. So with that being said, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, then make sure to do that as well as more of these type of amazing videos are coming soon. And with that being said, let's dive in. So I am on my laptop and first let me show you the UI screen that we are going to make in this video. So basically we are going to create the home screen, the components will include the heading part, the search field and the scrollable list view, also the carousal that we are having and this trending offer widget, the cards that we are having. So we will create this in the home page and also the product listing page so that we can when we search then this page should pop up. Okay. We also have the PSD files so then we can check the UI and extract some images and other data that we require. Awesome. So this is the UI design that we are going to make in this video. So first I have created the Flipkart clone project in my Android studio as you can see. So basically if you are not sure how we can do that, first go to the file on the top left corner and then go to new and then go to new flutter project in here choose the flutter sdk path mine is flutter 3.0.2 and after then just have to pass the project name like flipkart underscore clone and then the location path in your computer and then pass a organization ID and click on finish and that will automatically create a flutter project for you so I have done that part already so first let me just remove all of this boiler plate code from here and let's remove this complete class writing awesome so inside the lib let's just create a new folder known as screens so here all of basically i created a dart file so i have to create a directory screens so basically in this folder all of our screens so basically we have three screens home page and the product listing page so I'm going to create home page from here. So let's go in here and create a directory one more known as home page. And inside this directory, I'm going to create a dart file, home page or dart. And also I'm going to create a directory for components. Similarly, I'm going to create Basically, we have created our folder structure. So inside the screens, we are having the pages that we want. And inside each page, we are having that particular page source code and the components that we're going to use on that particular screen. Awesome. Now, what I am going to do is that create a new directory known as widgets here i'm going to create common widgets that is needed in multiple pages so i'm going to create widgets.dart and then i'm going to create models okay models and then i'm going to pass nothing for now so 
let's remove this my from here and title also and now let's go to the screens focus on our home page inside the home page or dot and now let's create the first screen that we are having that is this home page
So this is it. So we finally created the UI for the home page as you can see. So we have this category section. Then we are having this carousel that we can scroll left and right. Also we are having the trending offers like we have in this design. Right. So all of these components that we are having. Great. Now, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create this container. So right now, if I click on the text field, it won't do anything because in the code, it is not a text field. Actually, it is a container. And within that, we have a row where the text is located. So first, we have to change this to text field and later on we start working on this UI that we have. So if we go in the UI folder, you can see that we have a product listing page right here. Right. So we have to change the 
text field so that whenever we on submit then the page should automatically navigate to the listing screen and this ui should automatically show okay so let's create this product listing screen now
can see we have finally created our home page okay so we can go to the psv file as well and we can check that the layout is similar and also now if we go here and i type mobile or anything we don't have to type mobile and whenever we on submit then it will automatically navigate us to the listing screen so we can check the layout for that as well and you can see that this is the layout that it looks like exactly the same like we are having right awesome so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video then make sure to leave a thumbs up as well and if you haven't subscribe to my youtube channel yet then make sure to do that as more of these amazing videos in this series as well as generally related to flutter are coming soon on this channel so if you don't want to miss any of my future updates then make sure to subscribe my youtube channel with notifications turned on also if you have any suggestion for my part 3 video in this series then make sure to pass that as well in the comments below and i'll check that out as well so i'm ishmakan peace out